Well, had you been around here in Ezekiel 22 and you just would have been like, I'll do it, Lord. That could have made all of the difference in the world for Israel. Because that the last verse in that chapter, when he wasn't able to find anyone, says, Therefore have I poured out my indignation upon them. I have consumed them with the fire of my wrath. Their own way have I recompensed upon their heads, said the Lord God. One person could have meant the difference between God pouring out his indignation and his fiery wrath upon them and then that not happening. And even today, God is looking for people, individuals, to, to be able to stand and, and stand firm and fill in the gap. Look at verse number 7 of Second Chronicles chapter 16. The Bible reads, And at that time Hanani the seer came to Asa king of Judah and said unto him, Because thou hast relied on the king of Syria and not relied on the Lord thy God, therefore is the host of the king of Assyria escaped out of thine hand. Were not the Ethiopians and the Lubims a, a huge host with very many chariots and horsemen, yet because thou didst rely on the Lord, he delivered them into thine hand. And of course, Asa, the background of Asa, he, was, he started off a, a really good king doing the right things. He trusted in the Lord and he had these great victories when they were greatly outnumbered and these huge hosts. But then later in life, he stops trusting in the Lord and he goes look into an arm of flesh and, and, and just completely does, you know, kind of loses his faith, so to speak, in, in trusting in God uh, for, for their safety. But, um, and, and, and here's where the Lord's kind of, you know, explaining to him, hey, the Ethiopians and Lubans had a huge host, but you had faith and I came through for you and I delivered you as promised, as you know that I will. But he explains in verse 9, and this is the most important part. This is the verse I really wanted to focus on, uh, teaching the same concept as in Ezekiel. It says, for the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. Here and now is done foolishly, therefore from henceforth thou shalt have wars. So God's eyes, the Bible says here, they're running to and fro throughout the whole earth. Not just even in Israel, right, at this time. He's not just looking, he's looking everywhere. The eyes of the Lord are looking through the whole earth to show himself strong in the behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. He wants to find the people. He, that, that's why, you know, we don't believe that God's a racist. We do believe that God has replaced the nation of Israel when they rejected him, when they, when they stopped worshiping the Lord, when they turned to idols, when they rejected ultimately the Lord Jesus Christ. That's when God finally said, you know what? I'm going to take it from you and give it to a nation producing the fruits thereof. When you can find people who are going to show themselves strong in behalf of them whose heart is perfect toward him. The people who want to serve the Lord, he said, that's who I'm going to use. He doesn't care if you're physically from the loins of Abraham or not. He wants to serve, he wants his people, people who are born again, people who are saved, people who are known as his people, who's going to be faithful and who's going to faithfully serve him. And that's who he's going to use then to show himself strong on their behalf. And God likes using, you know, you say, well, I'm, I don't, what do I have to offer? You've got a lot. And you know, actually the less that you have to offer, the better it is for you to be used of God, because that's going to bring even more glory unto the Lord. And, you know, this wasn't in my notes, but I'll bring this up, especially because earlier, um, you know, I made the comment of, of if God could use someone like me to do anything, then God could use you too. But just a little bit of, if, if for anyone who doesn't know me that well or, or hasn't heard my own personal testimony, um, you know, to get to give God more glory and credit and honor for me even be able to stand up here in front of a group of people is, in my opinion, a miracle in itself because I've always been very shy and not good at public speaking whatsoever to the point of, of being physically ill if I would have had to stand in front, and, and my wife can attest to this because I did it one time right after we first got married at some tea party event and, and I stood behind the mic and there's people there and immediately I had to go home and my guts were just killing me and I couldn't stand it. It was, I mean, you wouldn't believe it. Okay. And this is, this is even after getting over the fears of like knocking on a stranger's door to preach the gospel because that was hard enough. Okay. So to get from that point of, of, of fear 
and and you know uncomfortable I, i'm not someone who is just this great orator, and i know i'm still not but someone to be able to stand up and and even say any coherent thoughts in front of people because i was terrified of it but when you allow god to work in your life and when you're willing to say, you know what, I can see this in scripture and I can see this is something that God would have me to do. And, and, and you know what, I, I'm not that good at it, God, but, but you know, I, I want to do the best I can do. I'm going to put myself out here just to say, however you want to use me, Lord, you can use me. And that's, that's the power of, of the individual that God can use one particular individual to do a lot of great things. And, and, but you have to be willing. You have to be willing to say, hey, I'm going to stand in the gap. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to do this, Lord. I love you and I want to do this. And let God use you. I can't take any credit for even being able to come up here because it, I, 100% it's, it's God being able to, to give me the boldness and to help me and prepare me to be able to do anything, even being able to speak in front of a group of people.